Turkey is calling a deadly explosion in Ankara a terror attack. At least 28 people lost their lives. The suspected car bomb hit three military vehicles and a private car. Military personnel stopped at traffic lights were reportedly the target in the heart of government facilities. CCTV's Michal Bardavi joins us live from Ankara. Michal, what is the latest? Yes, Asir, we are where the explosion took place, right behind us. You can see that it's been uh, closed off by a police barricade right now. As you mentioned, it was announced by the Turkish health minister that the number of people who were killed has risen to 28 people. The number who uh, were wounded were 65, according to the latest figures. However, it was also stated that out of those 65 people, uh, 30 of them who were being treated in the hospitals have been released after they received treatment. Yes, we are in the heart of the capital, Ankara. This is a very critical uh, area for the government. We are very close to the parliament. We're very close to the prime minister's office, as well as very close to the headquarters of the military as well. This happened right when the military buses were leaving their posts, uh, so it was targeting them for sure. It is definitely a terrorist attack uh, with very specific targets. Now, riot explosion took place, which was a very huge explosion. It shook the city. Basically, it could be heard throughout the city. It took a while for the uh, firefighters to put out the fire. 35 ambulances rushed to the scene uh, to clear uh, the, those who were wounded. It was also stated that they closed off the area very quickly. They closed it to the press as well because a crime scene investigation unit was here at the scene collecting evidence. Uh, that is, we're expecting an investigation to take place immediately uh, in the upcoming days. See, I... uh, Michal, any claim of responsibility so far? No, not so far. Uh, we do not have a clear understanding of who is responsible for this attack. We just know that it's a definitely a terrorist attack. Uh, but Turkey has been suffering these kinds of attacks over the last year, just a, a couple of months apart. We had one in Şanlıur for Suruç. We had another one here in the capital, Ankara, where 101 people were killed. These two were suicide attacks. Uh, this is a new one because it was a car bombing. We don't know if it was a suicide car bombing yet. Uh, however, there has been a statement made by the spokesperson of the AK party who said that uh, it was politically backed and it was very well planned. And according to analysts, they believe that it is very similar to what Islamic State militants uh, methods use. So uh, we can expect that they're going to be pointing the finger at ISIL. All right, CCTV's Michal Bardavid, live for us in Ankara.